Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. We're going to ask the question. Will the Sussexes appear on YouTube? Now, if, say for example, hypothetically, if Netflix goes the way of their titles, <laughs> then, then let's, let's uh, put into abeyance, uh, let's ask the question, will they release their docuseries on YouTube or will they look for, uh, let's say, another streaming provider? So on the left, we'll have YouTube. We're going to do a fork spread. And on the right, we're going to have another streaming platform. What is the plan? Let's find out. Uh, YouTube on the left, another streaming streaming platform on the right. Let's, uh, let's get forked. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then let it be known. A subscription to Famous Fortunes brings a lifetime of good luck and good fortune. Uh, there are multiple ways to support the channel, so... Do the things. Uh, what else can I say? 10,000 subs. We, I will tell you my craziest tarot story of all time from my personal collection, and it's a big one. All right? It's a big one, folks. It is a big one. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I noticed subscribers have been cranking this last week, so let that be known. Let's uh, what, welcome new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. Let's find out. If you haven't seen a fork spread, then you're going to see one uh, coming right up. It's a famous fortune's speciality. Let's say that. Cards are hot. Right. Beginning of the fork, King of Cups. So on the left, we're going to have YouTube. On the right, another streaming platform. So YouTube, Death, Queen of Swords, Four of Coins. And on the right, we have Five of Cups, Two of Wands, and the World. Underlying Energy, the Ace of Swords. Okay. So I can tell you, this is actually pretty straightforward. I can tell you here that Megan's not going to go for YouTube. No, not going to happen. Queen of Swords, Death, Four of Coins. She well, she does not want to go to YouTube. There's no way. And Megan's the one very much driving this, you can see on the cards. The answer's uh, no. The answer's no, folks. The answer's no. So... On the right, we have the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the World. So I would tell you that in the event Netflix do shelve the project, the most probable outcome is for the Sussexes to partner with another platform, for sure. That's what I see on the cards. As a humble reader, a humble lord of the orbs, uh, of famous fortunes, of, of a humble tea drinker as well. Many titles now <laughs> we've garnered over the years. So let that be known. That's what I see. I mean, it's it's literally just that simple. It's li literally just that simple. Should we throw some forks to see which streaming provider would be most likely? Let's do it. Um, I've got to remember some of them now. What are the big ones? I mean, you've got Disney. I know she does voiceovers, right? <laughs> let that be known. We've got Disney. We've got Stan. Uh, what else? What are some of the big ones? What are the ones? Disney, Stan. We'll have Disney on the left and Stan on the right. We'll uh, we'll throw a couple just to see, and then I'll look up some more if uh, we don't get any good hits. Uh, let's do it now. Who are the streaming providers? Streaming services. Here we go. We've got Paramount. Oh, Paramount, Stan. What else? Disney, binge, Amazon Prime. Oh, Amazon. Okay, all right. Well, we'll let me let me start with. Well, we don't we don't net, we're not gonna do Netflix. We'll do Stan. Uh, from left to right, Stan, Disney, binge, Amazon. We'll do four. All right, Stan, Disney, binge, and Amazon. Four forks here, so we're gonna get quad forks today. All right, enjoy, folks. Let's uh see what we get which streaming service would be most likely to pick it up cards are hot could be an apple job 
Yeah, let's reshuffle for Apple as well. So we'll do five lines because I didn't. I do think the me you don't want to see was on Apple as well, wasn't it? So we'll call we'll call Apple the fifth line, and we're gonna reshuffle here. Cards are hot. Hanged man, yeah, see, post, <laughs> postponement. All right, so, first one, Stan. Nine of cups, five of pence, four of cups. They'd like to be with Stan, but the money, they're not going to be with Stan. I don't think they're going to pay him. <laughs> they're going to be disappointed with how much money they're going to be offered. Not a lot. All right, let's Stan. Next, Disney, 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 Disney. Here we go, Ten of Swords, <laughs> The Chariot, Page of Swords. No, Dis Disney said no. All right, next one, uh, binge. We got binge next, queen of wands, the seven of cups and the wheel of fortune. And they may have a chance with binge. Uh, Amazon, Amazon, 10 of cups, seven of wands and the five of swords. That's a no from Amazon. Uh, I'd say unlikely. So binge seems to be the best so far. Let's do Apple, was it TV plus? All right, the lovers, there we go. The emperor and the king of swords. Yeah, it's gonna be Apple. It's going to be on Apple if it's not on the flicks. It's not, on, yeah, there you go. What can I say? Apple. I'm going to say, look, it's, 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 no wonder Apple came to me, let's say that. Because that's what it looks like. It looks like we've got Apple on the cards. What can I say? What can I say, folks? It looks like it's uh, Apple on the cards. What can I say? There's not a lot I can say. It is what it is. It is what it is. Apple Apple was such a clear hit there. It's it's very, very clear. Are you looking forward to watching this uh, show? Are you looking forward to seeing the Sussex docu-series? Are you, are you looking forward to that? Docu-series? Docu-series. Interesting. What can I say? Interesting. I don't know if I'll watch it. I don't think I will. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think I'll watch five minutes of it. Not even for a joke. <laughs> Not even for a joke. But, uh, yeah. What, what, cool, what uh, interesting comments do we have? Anything interesting? There's been some very interesting readings lately. Hmm. What do we have? Let's uh, open up some of the comments. Have a look. I haven't picked any out, so I'm just going to pull some. Here we go. Uh, Dr. Uh, I'm just going to call you Dr. Cherry. Uh, Team Famous Fortunes. I adore you, Duke Famous Fortunes. I've gone up, have I? I've gone up in the world. I think you're not... You're, you're not believing like i.e. the reading, would increase my level of awe in your abilities. But alas, I love you regardless of anything. I just admire you and your gift and yourself. Oh, love heart on that one. There you go. We were talking about readings and sometimes they can, you know, what do they say? Truth is stranger than fiction. fiction. Truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, that's very true. Someone goes, Lynn goes, drink your ginseng brandy. It's looking really strong, actually. Hang on, let me grab it. Look at this. I'm not sure if that's coming through just how uh, much darker the liquid is, but it's looking a lot stronger, that's for sure. Uh, and it's been that way for, uh, when did I do it? 20, uh, three weeks now. It's been in there for three weeks, I think. So it is, it is getting stronger, that's for sure. I'll give it a few more weeks, I think. Mm. Janet says, Lord Famous Fortunes, it's undeniable that recently your readings have tapped into a huge vein of truth regarding the children. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, it is interesting. It is interesting. What can I say? We need to, we need to do some more. Here we go. Luna says, Luna333 says, I'm 100% subscribing now because you are one of the few readers that are reading the cards without a lot of 
you know, what is it? Snide, one-sided opinions. Well, I try to be objective. It, I'm allowed to have a laugh though. Come on. All right. I'm allowed to have a laugh. I enjoy a laugh. What am I going to do? It, it brings me great relief when you say you're just reading the cards because that's what any reader should be doing. Uh, read more. Hang on. I've stopped watching a few other channels. I'm down to three or four from seven because they just interject too much of their own, let's say negative feelings. Uh, not only do I think they're starting to read the cards wrong, but their negative energy affects the cards pulled. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure who you're referring to there, but in any event, I think that it's good for readers to be as objective as possible. Even if you don't believe the reading, you still got to read, do read the cards, right? You still got to give your opinion on what the cards are actually saying. And uh, the hardest readings, I'll tell you this, right? Luna and everyone else in the audience, that the hardest readings to do are readings on yourself. And any, any, any sort of serious readers know this, that you want to get someone else's experience to do readings for you because you'll throw cards and be like, oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Because you're so emotionally tied to the topic and that's the key. You want to be emotionally disengaged. That's why it's good to laugh. I mean, who really cares? Right? Who really cares? Who really cares? So, so you got to enjoy yourself. All right. You got to enjoy yourself. Uh, what can I say? What can I say next? Take care of yourself. Sending love, light, and positive energies. Uh... Lord Fortune. <laughs> Caroli, I think is how you say it. Team Famous Fortunes. Holy cow, what are we seeing? Let's just say I trust the cards, but this is next level. Thanks for venturing into this. Lord Famous Fortunes. Uh, what else can I say? What other good comments do we have? We haven't done comments in a little while. Uh, these last couple of readings have the edge of my seat. Every new question is like a Pandora's box. It's true. It's true. They are. What else can I say? What else can I say? And everyone's worried about me burning out. I'm not burning out, folks. It's fine. Uh, it's It's all good. And I, um, it's all good. It's it's literally just something that I may need to take some time off to you know, to deal with uh, that I'm seeing coming in a dream. So that's all. <laughs> that's that's all it is, folks. That's all it is. It's all good. Nothing to do with the channel. Uh, I want to assure people of that. So, um, what else can I say? What else can I say from the comments? Do 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 comments. A lot of people seem to agree with the. A lot of people seem to agree with some of the reading that we've got in the last week or two, last week or two, and a lot of people are vibing with some of the things we've seen on the cards. That's kind of what I see. That's the vibe I get here. No one said, "Hey, that's just complete BS. You're totally off." It's people are like shocked. I think that, I think the thing is people are like, oh, I'm not believing it. <laughs> I'm not believing it. Well, you know, I'm just reading the cards. Do I have to believe it? I'm just, you know, I'm just reading the cards and it's, uh, it's you know, it is what it is. So what else can I say? It is, here we go. Mumble Jumble says, Lord Famous Fortunes, I've always thought that you were accurate with your readings. You're also consistent. I recall a long time ago, that I recall you reading a long time ago that uh, Archie was with the royals in a distant place surrounded by male energy. I do actually remember that read as well, quite a long time ago, I'll add. Not with his mother. At the time, there was a suggestion that a woman was involved. At the time, I wondered if that was Catherine or the fourth child. When William and Harry's mother died, the Queen took them to Scotland to protect them from the media. Is Archie being protected and cared for by the royals in their, and their security in Scotland? Is this how Meghan is paid off? Yeah, that's epic. I don't know. I have to read on that. That's epic. So, what can I say? What can I say? Jade says, we've seen an uncertified copy of a certain, let's say, birth certificate. 
That's all you can get. I live in Santa Barbara County and that's all anyone can get from the clerk recorder. If you're not the parents, lawyer of the courts, it's not certified, but you can get an uncertified copy if you want to pay for it. It's like 25 or $30. I bet if you got that copy, they'll complain it's not certified, not valid proof. Okay, interesting. Someone's got to get something and post it on Twitter or whatever. What can I say? 25 bucks. What can I say? Here we go. <laughs> Dear Scally Ann, Dear Lord Famous Fortune, thanks for reading. Say hi to Byron. <laughs> so, say hi to Byron. Byron Bay, folks, if you don't know what I'm, what's being said. Byron Bay, it's a place in Australia. You may have heard of it, you may not. Uh, but in any event, I don't know. I just, I, there's something about me and Byron. I just gel so well, so well with the place. It's ridiculous. So it's just, it's on another level, I can tell you. It's on another level. I swear, every time I go there, I, I, I think one of the last times I went, two people offered me a job and one one person offered to sell their business to me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to mention which business it was, but they, the guy liked me so much. He's like, I want you to buy my business. I'm looking for someone to sell it to, the right person. I want you to buy it. <laughs> I was like, really? Okay, bro. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that was something else. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm not going to mention the business. Please don't ask. But uh, what can I say? What can I say? Bar and bay. What can I say? What else? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, comments getting pretty long now. All right, all right, all right. I think. We have read enough comments. We've done some pretty good readings today, I would have to say. And I'm looking forward to seeing some more action, let's say, from the comment section. So, what else? Big thank you to the regular viewers. That's what I want to say. Big thank you. Because I know if you've listened to the comments, you're into the channel, it's, it's a good thing and I appreciate it. It's, good. it's a good uh, vibe we have. It's a vibe, as they would say. It's a vibe. And it's a good vibe. So let that be known. Let that be known. Lord of... I'm not going to say Byron. That's a bit... That's a little bit cheeky, isn't it? Lord of the Bay. No, that's too cheapy. Too che cheeky. It's too cheapy. Too cheeky. So with that all said, I'm going to finish off this tea. What is it today? Oolong and Gynostemma. I've actually ordered some more Gynostemma. It's coming. Uh, so... Thanks, big thanks to those that donate to the Lord Famous Fortunes Tea Fund. I will show you the Gynostemma when it comes in. That's what I'll do. I will show you the Gynostemma when it's fresh out of the bag so you can all see what it looks like. Um, it is uh, a vine. It's it leaves from a vine and the vine kind of dies off and I think grows back every year. It's a sort of perennial, I think that's how you say it. So the it's, it's a plant that can be, it rejuvenates itself every year. And then you get more leaves and more tea, all the rest of it. So it's not like you sort of have to, you know, it's a, it's a true tea. It's not something you have to sort of off the plant to get, <laughs> you know, to get what you want out of it. So uh, let that be known. But, it, it, you know, if you haven't figured out by now, it is uh, one of my favorites, that's for sure. So with that, without further ado, I will thank you for uh, participating in the channel today. I'll thank you uh, humbly and I will see you in the comment section.